Hey YouTube, Copper Sand here, and welcome back to the Prime Maple Story Drama Channel, keeping you up to date with the latest and the juiciest Maple Story drama. Today we're discussing a topic that has been going around for a while already, and is currently reaching a boiling point with protest trucks being sent to the Nexon headquarters just to get the players their points across. These Maple Story players do not mess around. This all started because after a series of videos highlighting just how easy and fast it is to progress in Reboot Server, half the MapleStory Korea population decided that they also wanted to play on the Reboot Server. At first, the server wasn't very popular compared to the regular servers, as those were seen more of an investment and a profitable way of playing, while Reboot was seen by some as a server for the poor who had no money to spend and only time. However, as more and more Maplers started to see just how fast and easy progression actually was, they all went to Reboot, with some big Korean streamers even dropping their gear and quitting the regular servers just to move to Reboot and get their points across. This started the first big wave of complaints that Reboot was too easy and highlighted some of the issues that the regular server has with some of the tradability of their endgame items, which is limited and kind of defeats the purpose of the regular server. So as a response, Nexon improved the tradability of these items and Reboot boss carries got nerfed, introducing the 5% damage rule. If you're in a boss fight with a party, you'll need to deal at least 5% of the total damage dealt to the boss to qualify for boss drops, a change that is still coming to GMS if we're getting it at all. But now Nexon introduced even more reboot changes in MapleStory Korea, like the removal of the bonus EXP rates and reboot level difference, making the reboot monsters the same as the other non-reboot servers. A cube cooldown was added that we already have in MapleStory Global. It is extremely busy in both reboot servers and in MapleStory Korea due to just how many people are playing there, making it very hard to farm. It's like imagining NA reboot but with 40 channels all the time and each of them is so full that you can no longer join. That's how busy it is and KMS has two reboot servers. The other issue is that Sol Erda, which is basically the node stones of 6 job, are very difficult to obtain in the reboot server, which also kind of feels like Nexon isn't really learning from all the quality of life changes and improvements that they added to the 5th job system zone over the years. These changes and the recent server stability issues have triggered enough MapleStory Korea reboot players to start collecting money to send protest trucks to the Nexon office. These trucks will drive around the office and display messages to voice the player's discontent with the recent changes, which is a pretty common thing to do in Korea by the way and has been done before, even targeted towards MapleStory. Personally, I'm not a big fan of nerfs, unless it's super broken and needs to be fixed quickly. But in cases like this, I think it would be better of to instead of nerfing and changing reboot, to actually improve the regular servers and buff those instead. I feel like Nexon doesn't really like the reboot server as it generates less revenue compared to the regular ones. This is a fact by the way, as it was revealed in a lawsuit a few months ago, that Nexon earns about $400 million per year in MapleStory Korea, and about half of that revenue is purely coming from cube sales alone. You can't purchase cubes with real money in the reboot server, so the regular servers are the biggest drivers of revenue for Nexon, at least for MapleStory. But yeah, I think this whole reboot versus regular server thing is a bit unnecessary. Both servers should have a fun and balanced experience, which each having their own benefits. Being a trading with other players and merchanting, or growing your own character purely by your own time and dedication. Nexon shouldn't make one server better or worse than the other. Easy as that. The game is good, people will play it and eventually maybe even spend some money, at least that's how I think about these things. On a side note, there was a super quick change done today because it is super busy in the level 260 plus areas after the release of 6 Job in MapleStory Korea. So now up to 2 Maplers can play on the same map without killing each other's monsters. Those are instants now, similar to how they are in the theme dungeons like Gold Beach. I actually kind of wish more maps were like that and forever, but it would also be kind of weird to see someone else flying around your map all the time. I do think though, this is probably a great way to bring back party training, like everyone's in the same map in a party getting boosted DXP, but they all have their own monsters to kill. Wishful thinking though, wishful thinking. But that's all for today's drama. What do you think of these issues and the recent reboot changes? And do you think those will be coming to MapleStory Global as well? And when will MapleStory C finally get a reboot server? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and as always special thanks to our members for making these videos possible special thanks to Niels de Konnik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Jesus Rodriguez, Claudi Mora, Wiley, Riser Aryu, Backspace OTI, Ziggy Deer, History Cannon, Sophronix, Flidiot, Knifesu, Cloudfix, Sir Tito 655, 
Michael Manchaka, Raytheus, Afterlord, Betrayal1489, Silvio Nato, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Victor Sundstrom, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Anark, Benon Games, The Passenger, Kani Wu, Max Bernhardt, Mukao1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Gabriel Eck, Feco, Vake Botnet, Dante Victory, Matinu Death, Snack HBG, Only, Lord Fazil, Pats D. Kaiser, That Archie Guy, Louis Bento Brandao, Snafflepop, Tails Cursepad, The Wolf Drake, Gaber Wolf, Previc Bang, Best Guild Luna, Casual Volk, Quinn, Migu, and Mark Sette. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling.